it's difficult to say where Michael's at. Um, his condition could change very, very quickly. And that's why it, it is so difficult to assess. But psychologically, I think he's very accepting of where he's at. He doesn't like it, but he's accepting of it. He knows he can't change it. So he's very much relieved to be here in St Margaret's because in terms of his symptom control and things like that, as well as all of the psychological support both him and his family are getting. Feeling not bad today, it was bad this morning, really bad. So I says to one of the nurses, go to go and get, try and get my wife, I says, because I think I'm dying. I see it is different. It's, it's the people you're leaving behind, obviously. Dying is nothing, is it? When you think about it, dying is nothing. Well, my dad died at 65. I was going to say it was horrendous, but it wasn't. He was sitting next to me. I watched the snooker. I, I see him, I'd be in Glasgow, he'd be in a town, and I said, you're cold, Dad. I am, I'm a bit cold. I've maybe been for a wee whiskey and that, you know. And he made it. He says, I'll just take my glasses off, you know. So he took his glasses off. His head back. He was on his shirt and tie. And I says, and the next one I heard this horrible noise. My dad had died. Hi, Michael. If you're ever going to pull through this, you need your family, a good family. They say our marriage would be last because we were only 17 when we got married. So we're nearly 50 years later. We're still together. Your life obviously changes. I'm the father of three daughters, so nothing can touch your father because he's a legend. My happiest memory is quite recent. It was my grandson who was getting christened on the 5th of January. And I, was, I felt great. It was good, it was good because all of my friends turned up at the church. My family's out of this world. And I've been here for me, you know. I really want to live, I really want to fight hard. Well, I've always been a fighter, but I really want to fight hard now. And I'll get cured and then I'll sicken them. I'll walk out. I'll walk out here. I will walk out there, right? I'll walk out here. We become really intensely involved in our patient care and it's really difficult sometimes at the end of a shift to accept that you have to hand the responsibility on to someone else to keep that level of care going. And it's not that you, you have any um, doubt in your colleagues, it's just difficult to let go. 